I'm Michael Pierce, outdoors writer photographer for the Wichita Eagle and a 35-year coast-to-coast wild turkey hunting fanatic. If there's equipment to be had, I probably have it in large amounts. I have calls of all kinds and buy more regularly. I have enough pop-up lines to host a sizable Boy Scout campout. My storage shed has enough turkey decoys for me to start my own store. But there's no question, my single piece of equipment that produces the most consistent success and excitement is a high quality submissive Jake decoy like this one from Dakota. And here's why. All wild turkeys have a place in the flock's pecking order. and some matter they're willing to settle the year round. This shot shows a dominant Tom, his beta hunting buddy, and a third Tom they won't let be part of their club. No turkeys have it tougher than yearling Jake's. Mamas don't want them around and daddy, toms, and older brothers see yearling jakes as nothing but competition for food and hens and easy targets to exert their dominance. Jakes traveling in groups of 2 to 12 usually have safety in numbers. Those found solo, like this decoy jake, often get attention in a hurry. To increase my success, I often push the jake decoy down even close to the ground so it looks even weaker. The reaction is the same no matter what time of year. Fall and winter gobbler flocks are filled with enough testosterone that they'll usually race after an easy looking Jake. And I've had strutting toms near the Dakota in November, December, January and photographed them in the cold days of February and March. I've had no shortage of mature toms trying to bully the wimpish looking juvenile fake in the spring either. Several times they've run full speed, several hundred yards across an open field to attack the Jake. While that's exciting to watch, I advise laying off the trigger or releasing the string of your bow for a few minutes to enjoy the show. You'll probably see some interesting behavior. The Tom on this decoy is obviously showing his dominance to not only the decoy, but the other birds that are watching. Here's something I've never seen before. This two-year-old Tom strutted to within 10 yards, then basically crawled forward, eventually laying down. I'm guessing he was trying to intimidate the decoy without getting his fan wrecked by the older birds. According to my camera's clock, this cowboy stayed in the saddle for more than seven minutes. These guys left the fake Jake and later came back twice to continue pounding on it. They hit it hard and often enough to bend the eighth inch steel stake about 30 degrees. At one point, they didn't even notice a hen had lowered herself into a breeding position about 10 yards away. The smile on the face of my friend Jacob can attest to his opinion of using the submissive Jake decoy. He's killed seven toms, including this big long beard with a bow, off the same decoy within the past 18 months. Here's some video to show how well the decoy can work. Again, this was all five yards from the blind. Thank you.